this video deals with how do you calculate the sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression right now when we talk about an arithmetic progression if you remember uh, we said that the arithmetic progression is something like this you have a you have a plus d you have a plus 2d you have a plus 3d and so on until you reach the last term okay and what is the last term it is the nth term and we all know that it is written as a plus n minus 1 times d right let me just put them into bracket consider a situation where you know uh, you have to find out the sum of all these numbers right and it could be a case where you have simply a few terms in the AP or it could be a case where you have a large number of terms in the AP now if you have to find out the sum of all these terms how do you do that let's call this as s okay and we say s is equal to a plus a plus d plus this plus this plus this right I need to find out what is the value of this term now can I do one thing can I just write this in the reverse order okay we know that 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 3 plus 2 right so if I just write this in the reverse order what do I get I get a plus n minus 1 d plus a plus n minus 2 times d plus so on and towards the end you would get plus a plus d plus a now you must be wondering why am I doing this let me explain it to you can I do the sum of these two right now when I do the sum of these two what I'm going to do here is I am going to add these two together these two together I don't have anything over here these two together this number together and then you'll have corresponding numbers okay because the number of terms are same so if it was 2 plus 4 3 plus 3 4 plus 4 who when you do a sum of this you get a plus a okay which is a plus a plus n minus 1 times d right because I'm adding s to s so I'll write this as 2s or in other words this is basically 2a plus n minus 1 times d right let's look at the second one so I get a plus d plus a plus n minus 1 n minus 2 times d right but what I'm getting here is if I just further resolve this I get 2a this plus this right can I write this n minus 2d as n minus 1 d minus d so what I've done here is I've just replaced this minus 2 into d would have been minus 2d so I just kept this as minus 1d and this minus d the moment I do this what I get is I get 2a plus d plus n minus 1 d minus d and why do you think I'm doing this I'm doing this because I will cancel these two d out and in a simplified form I will get 2a plus n minus 1 d which by the way is the same thing over here so when you solve all these terms together what you are going to notice is every time every single time you're going to get 2a plus n minus 1 into d as the sum right even the last one also if you notice it is nothing but it's just this term here this term here right and you will get this n times so can I write the sum of all this as n times 2a plus n minus 1 
d why n times because this number is going to the sum is going to appear n times right so 2s is equal to this right can i write s as n by 2 i just take this 2 over here so in in a, in a simplified form the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression is equal to n upon 2 2a plus n minus 1 d right so this is the first formula effectively that you have for sum of an ap the other one that you can have is can be obtained by just simplifying this particular formula let me show you how so we are saying that the sum of an ap is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 d can i write this 2a as a plus a is the same thing right plus n minus 1 d right but what do you notice here what you notice is that a plus n minus 1 d is actually the nth term of an ap if i denote this nth term or the last term as l i can rewrite this formula to say it is equal to a plus l n by 2 so effectively the sum of an ap can also be find out if we know a and the last term right the first one is this the second one is this i hope the concept itself is clear right you may be applying this concept by learning what the formula is n number of times but if you understand what the concept is basically this is going to help you through your life in terms of all your examinations as well if you like this video hit the like button okay you can also subscribe to us thank you for being with us today